So while we think about Paksh, right? So a lot of the satsang and a lot of the topics about satsang are more like you introduce a topic, you understand the topic, and then you have to kind of understand the relationships of it, right? So how do we, how can we think of, say, for example, the bhakti, right? The nine types of bhakti that we have. And how can we in, kind of think of it in the terms of paksh? You know, I, I just want to highlight a few things and maybe, you know, in the future when you guys are reading about something else and understand something else, you can highlight and correlate things on your own, right? So, so let's think about the first one, like shravanam, right? So what does shravanam mean? Shravanam means to listen. What does that mean? Shra to listen to either katha, kirtan, or bhagwanunam, right? It's any of the other. You can listen to it. And that's basically known as a shravanam bhakti, right? But how does that, how can we think about paksh in that sense, right? So to be practical, right? In our, our current world, right? We, we all, all are living in the 21st century. Right. We all have access to YouTube, right? We we all we can we can see anything on YouTube, right? With no restrictions, right? So do we normally listen to Katha or do we normally go listen to videos or what, what what are we doing? Right. So to put put it in perspective, what I'm trying to say here is that to keep Paksha of Maharaj or to keep increased Paksha of Maharaj or increasing your Paksha as you go through your age is you kind of want to, you know, lessen your like watching those video games or watching other videos on YouTube or, you know, listening to really cool songs by say Eminem, you know what I mean? Or well, whoever it is, right? You, you want to move that kind of bhakti towards the paksh side. And how do you do that? By listening to or listening to Katha more or listening to Kirtan more. And that's just one example of how Shravanam can relate to paksh, right? Another one you can think about is Atma Nivedanam, right? So Atma Nivedanam means you are putting your Atma, Atma means soul, and Nivedanam means to surrender. So you're surrendering, surrendering your Atma to whoever it is you're surrendering it to. So in our, in our case, in the nine types of Bhakti, Atma Nivedanam means we're surrendering ourselves to Bhagwan. We're surrendering our soul to Bhagwan. Now that's a type of paksh, keeping paksh in Maharaj, right? We shouldn't surrender ourselves to Maya, but more Bhagwan, 